Ever wanted to rename the recording files right after the recording? Well, now you can with this cool new OBS plugin. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to set it up, install it and use it. It's extremely easy. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right. So first things first, what we need to do is go to the OBS plugin website. The plugin that we're going to be using today is called Record Rename and it's made by the legendary Exceldro. So how this works is as soon as you stop recording, you will get a pop up where you can immediately rename the file, click OK, and that file will be renamed to whatever you want. It's really, really nice when you're recording a lot of things at once. You can uh, immediately rename it and also remove the files that you don't really want. So it's really nice. I can't believe this is not a, an OBS direct feature, but we have to use a plugin like always. So what you need to do is go to this link. It will be linked down in the description below. You click on the download button and then you will see four different things like a Windows installer, the Windows zip, or you have the Linux and Mac OS versions as well. For this, we're going to be using the Windows installer. It's very simple. You just run it, go next, 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 and it's done. Once you've installed the plugin, open up your OBS and I'm going to show you how to use it. All right, so now that I have my OBS opened up, what you need to do is simply go to the tools over here. And if you see record rename, that means the plugin is installed correctly. If you don't see that, that means you haven't installed it correctly. So go back and run the installer again or use the zip and just copy the files over there. Once you've seen the record rename, what you need to do is just enable either record or replay buffer. Once these are enabled, you will basically get a prompt every single time you do the recording. And then you can just type the text to whatever you want to rename the file to. If you don't do this, it will not ask you for the rename. Uh, what you can also do is set up the format. So if you click on the file name format, you can actually put in uh, the format of the files and how it should look like every single time you record. This is for advanced users that know how to format correctly. So if you're one of them, you can simply use this. And you can also make sure to use automatically Remux to MP4. If you're not using this inside OBS itself, you can enable this right here. Simply click on this and it will be enabled. What this does is if you're recording an MKV or any other file, it will automatically convert that file to MP4. So you can actually use it for editing and any other program that supports MP4 and not MKV, for example. But I talked more about that in my previous videos. So yeah, this is how the plugin works. It's extremely easy, takes you like two steps and it's a very early version. So there might be bugs. If there are, you can simply report it to Exceldro and he will most likely fix them in the future updates. Keep in mind that the plugin will not be working if you have the automatically Remux option inside settings. So if you go to settings and then you go to advanced and then you scroll down until you see automatically Remux MP4, if this is enabled, you will not get a pop up for the rename. So make sure to disable it over here and then go back to the actual plugin and then enable it over here. And then it will ask you every single time you record. So keep that in mind. That's one of the things that are noted inside the actual website when you're downloading the plugin. And that's basically it. That's how you can set up the record rename plugin. It's extremely easy, like always. So if you did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this one right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.